Welcome. What am I? Admissions. For what? The afterlife. Are you Allah? No. Please, have a seat. Welcome. Excuse me. Do you know where we are? Admissions. Admissions? For the afterlife. Please, have a seat. Do you need our names? No. They no longer reply. Can I please ask a question? Of course. Where is Allah? Yes. And where is God? With you. Always. And who are you? I'm just a clerk. What are you writing down? Nothing. I'm just doodling. Why won't you tell us what's going on? I have. Then why are we here? Like I said, admissions. Can you please give us a straight answer? I just have. Well, what are we supposed to do here? It's admissions. Say whatever you want. Anything you feel you want to get off your chest. But my wife and I, we don't believe in hell. We just always try to do what was right and live our lives according to the Torah. If there is a world to come, we should be allowed in. I too have tried to live a good life according to the Quran. So if there is a paradise to come, seems I should be allowed in too. Are we being judged? No. Everybody makes mistakes. If that kept people out of the world to come, heaven would be empty. We keep it simple. Everybody always gets treated equally. Eleven more minutes and we'll be done. Then you have the rest of eternity. I don't want eternity unless it's with Allah. When can I see Allah? May I give you a little piece of brotherly advice? Focus on the here and now. What do you mean? The past and the future don't really exist. The only thing you need to be concerned with is right now. Can I ask a question? Of course. Anything you like. What happened? I mean... How did we get here? We don't remember. The transition gives everyone a kind of temporary amnesia. Don't worry. It'll wear off in a minute. Please. I would like to know now what happened to my husband and me. You were in a cafe. In Tel Aviv, having lunch, there was an explosion.
What caused it? It was a bomb. Who left it there? It wasn't left. What do you mean? I believe the current terminology is a suicide bomb. We have two young children. They're all alone now. I'm so sorry. I'm confused. We are from different religions. We pray to different gods. Yes. Which god are we waiting to see? Everyone's free to believe in whatever god they choose to. It's just that right now, your beliefs are no longer important. Only the truth is. So tell us the truth. You're here together because you died together. Sometimes when people die together, they go through admissions together. We died together? How many people died in the explosion? Three. Were you eating at the cafe? What were you eating? What did you order? Are you the suicide bomber? Please, I want to see Allah. Is he the bomber? Yes. I need to speak with Allah, please. You killed us! How could you put us with this murderer? Does it seem crowded? You should see it during a war. <laughs> we all get a lot of overtime. How can you make a joke? He is a murderer! I'm not joking. He killed us. Yes, he did. And do you have any idea how many times I've seen this same scenario? In the 20th century, man murdered over 160 million of his fellow human beings for all kinds of reasons. Your murder may have come as a shock to you, but in here, we've all been witness to this kind of thing for a long, long time. How could you do that to us? We were innocent victims! No Israeli is innocent. You steal our land, you bomb our cities, you treat us like slaves in our homeland. This is not your homeland, it is ours. How is it your homeland when there were already people there when you arrived? We were pushed out first. And you should understand what it feels like. We only took back what was rightfully ours. Yeah, tell that to the millions of refugees you displaced. And what gives you the right to that homeland? Superior military? What gives you the right? You turned my children into orphans. We did nothing to you. Nothing. You have no idea what it's like to be persecuted, to have no hope for a future. My grandparents died in the Holocaust. How dare you talk to me about persecution? I had nothing to do with the Holocaust. I wasn't even born, and neither were you. I'm talking about today. And today, we were sitting there, minding our own business, and you murdered us. Minding your own business. You elect your leaders. You put them in power. What does that have to do with anything? You sent tank shells into my neighborhood. That was not us. My two daughters were at home, studying for school. Amira was six. Kayla was seven. I had to pick pieces of their bodies and put them in garbage bags. Two days later, I found my wife in a bathtub soaking in her own blood. So you tell me exactly what did I do to deserve this? You and your terrorists have been murdering people for decades. So has your government. We are not our government. But now I see our government was right. Oh, you see? You think Palestinians deserve this? Israelis don't stop bombs to their bodies and go blow up right. innocent people. You do people. it from a distance just like cowards. You are a barbarian. We have nothing you, to do you with you. You are just as guilty as your leaders. Why is he still here? If there is a hell, he should go straight there. Really? Fortunately, we don't leave that up to you. He left our children without parents. What type of heaven is this? For servants of Allah, not Zionist oppressors and killers. You are the killer! Israel is the killer! Stop it! 
Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, just stop, stop it, please. Stop what? Stop. He killed us! Stop fighting. We lost our lives. Yes, yes, but we can't go back. Haven't you been listening? We were innocent victims. Yes, we were, but so was he. He did not deserve what happened to him. To, to see his daughters like that, Ellie. He was trying to live his life just like us. But he killed us. Yes. Yes, and so it is with us. The fighting, the hatred, it can stop. I'm sad. And I'm angry, and I hurt, and I don't understand why you did it. But I understand the pain of losing your children. I forgive you. What? I'm sorry. For what our government's done. And for the suffering we've caused you and your family. For that, I must ask your forgiveness. Yes. How dare you? He left our children without parents. Have you lost your mind? No. I've regained it. Time's up. One at a time, please. Who goes first? That's also up to you. Go to heaven. I will see you shortly. Go on. Forgive him. We've lived a good life. I don't need to forgive him to get into heaven. Without forgiveness, there can be no heaven. Go on. I will see you shortly. Please stop at the line. Please stop at the line. You might want to try listening to your wife. You can't want hell for other people without being in hell yourself.
next. Please stop at the line. Get to go to heaven after how I heard them. I've been so full of hatred. The ones who find it hardest to love need love the most. Who goes in there? No one. It's just a prop. Hell is the world's nightmare, it's not reality. And everlasting peace doesn't come from falling asleep. It comes from waking up. You were created from love. For the sole purpose of love. Murder is a contradiction, whether it's done by governments or individuals, because it goes against what you truly are. Love neither attacks nor condemns. And when you can forgive those who attack and condemn you, that's when you know it's really love. Thank you. Thank God. And you're welcome. Welcome. Please, have a seat. Welcome. See, humanity is 
die in this human race Find our peace at a safer pace Make this world all that we can dream When we dream as we